And with the nation's birthday just hours away, many of you will be spending time with family and friends with some barbecue and fireworks and a little laughter in between. But remembering the many brave soldiers who sacrificed their lives for our freedom is most important. WXVT's Steve Dreyer has more tonight on the true meaning of our nation's birthday. July 4th, 1776, our ancestors met in Philadelphia to sign the Declaration of Independence. That document is a reminder of our freedom our escape from England and the United States of America was born. 235 years later, freedom is still running strong, but not without its sacrifice. Many Americans gave the ultimate price for our freedom many times over the last century. Of the many wars the United States has battled through, World War II was by far one of the deadliest. Thousands of Army and Navy soldiers died on land, air, and sea. Franklin Roosevelt was president at the time, spoke those famous words, which still resonates with many Americans today. Mr. Speaker, members of the Senate, of the House of Representatives, yesterday, December 7th, 1941, a date which will live in infamy, the United States of America was suddenly and deliberately attacked by naval and air forces of the Empire of Japan. Several more wars, such as the Korean, Vietnam, and Gulf, were all fought across the globe. Countless number of Americans died fighting for our freedom, doing what they felt was best for our country. The most recent attacks occurred closer to home on September 11, 2001. This marks the 10th anniversary of those deadly attacks on the World Trade Center Twin Towers. President Bush at the time also made some remarks while at ground zero to Americans across the land that also will never be forgotten. I can hear you, the rest of the world hears you, and the people, and the people who knock these buildings down will hear all of us soon. The United States of America is a country like no other. We have several liberties that other countries across the world only dream of having. So when you celebrate the 4th of July, take a moment and thank those who are fighting for our country and our freedom. And for those who didn't make it back, they paid the ultimate sacrifice, their life. In Greenville, Steve Dreyer, WXVT, Delta News.